Well, hey guys and gals, it's Hex here, and today we're back working on our super modern skyscraper. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the upstairs of the apartments. So, last time what we did is we built the lower floor of an apartment building right in here. So we built all this, we put in some couches and a little bit of a kitchen and so on and so forth, and then we built this nice little stairway going up to the second level, where... We are going to be building the rest of this apartment. So, the first thing we're going to start off with is a nice, lovely wall right here. We need a good wall. Everybody needs a nice wall. So, we're going to build it right here. And you know what we could do is we could build a little bathroom right in here. There we go. That's pretty good. And then we're just going to continue this little wall right here. You know what I think I might do is actually lay out the wall sort of on the, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to lay out the wall like, um, what, what do you want to call it? Uh, let's see, is that the center? No, that's not the center. That would be the center. I'm going to lay out the wall so that we can kind of have like a, like a general layout and then we're going to go ahead and fill it in and see what we want to do. So I think if we go like this, it'll give us a nice hallway like that. And then we, we're going to come if we go across like this. There we go. And then let's go. What if we go like, um, like right here? Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. And then that way we can have like a little ensuite bathroom here. And a little ensuite bathroom there. And then this one here, let's see. If I take this to the wall, what happens? It goes right there where I don't want it to go. Which is kind of a bummer. It's kind of a bummer. So I think what we're gonna do is bring this one block back like that. And bring this out like this. Mm, yeah, I don't love that, but it'll probably work. And then we could do like a little ensuite bathroom there and then have this be the master bedroom. Um, I think that that's actually gonna work. I think that's gonna work. And then we can go like that for a door and then we'll have a door like right there and then one there. And then that'll work. That'll work just fine. Worky, worky, work, work, work. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these and make this taller like this. And what I should probably do is grab some end rods so you guys can see what in the world is going on here. End rods or two like this. Just put a couple in the ceiling. I'm just going to throw these in randomly so that we have like some light in here. Just so that like you guys while I'm recording the video can kind of see... What the heck is going on? There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. We are going to build some walls. Let's build some walls. Let's build a wall. There we go. A nice wall there. And a nice wall there. That's a pretty nice little wall. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. We are still playing in 1.15, even though 1.16 has come out, because I like shaders. And I've already gone with uh, 1.15 on the Blockhead server because that's mine and um, Waffle Stick wanted that. And I agree with that as well, but I do like my shaders. So I decided to go and update the Blockhead server, but not yet update this world to 1.16 because that way I can use shaders because shaders have not come out yet for this. In fact, they're still in the development phase, or uh, the developer of Optifine is still in the development phase of 1.15.2. Ooh, I didn't think that through very well. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it here. There we go. That's better. That way that wall falls like along the line of the, uh, yeah, so we don't have like, yeah, you guys know what I mean. Do you guys know what I mean? Hopefully you do. If not, uh, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> because it's late in the evening. It's late in the evening. Usually I don't build late in the evening. I'm usually 
kind of tired and don't feel like building. But actually late in the evening is a good time for me to be creative because it's kind of a creative hour late, late at night. I'm very tired today. I went out surfing. Well, actually, I watched my daughter surf while I kind of putzed around in the waves because A, uh, the, the waves were pretty bad, and B, um, she wanted me to. So that's what we did today. It's pretty nice. Tomorrow is the 4th of July. Usually I love to go watch the fireworks, but I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home because I don't want to get the coronavirus. Although I am a little bit bummed about not being able to see some fireworks. Love me a good firework. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is make the door like here for the bathroom. Yeah, that way, that way it'll work out. And I'm just not going to worry about people looking in to the bathrooms because we just can't really worry about that in Minecraft. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, ordinarily there are such things as curtains, right? But, yeah. In, uh, in Minecraft, though, we don't really have curtains. Okay. I feel like our walls are good to go. Should I start with the master bedroom or with one of these little ones? Let's start with one of the little ones, I think. But first of all, we need some glass. We need some glass. We need some glass. We need some white stained, black stained glass, I mean. Because <laughs> what I want to do is I want to build a little border around the stairway there. And I think I'm going to knock those two out, even though I don't really need to. That way it'll make the stairway look more like it makes sense. I like that. That's good. Okay, and then you can come down here. And then, ooh, what a lovely apartment. I actually really like how this is turning out. Looks pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's see, bed. So we need to focus on a bed material type. So we could go with like wool. We could go with like, I guess the question is how wide do we want the bed? I think if we want to go for a double wide bed, then it's nice to use some of the, um, gosh, I don't even know what the name of that stuff is. The terracotta blocks. Let's see. Maybe this is the girl's bedroom. Maybe it is. Why? I don't know. So we're gonna do a nice flower bed. That's nice. But I think we're gonna move the flower bed out one. Like that. There we go. That way we have room for a nice headboard. Then we're gonna use some uh, white concrete powder or white wool. Let's go with the concrete powder. I'm feeling powder today. Feel a little bit powdery. <laughs> there we go. And then some carpets. There we go. You could also use snow, I suppose, if you're into that. If you're in a snowy kind of mood. All right, that's good. Yeah. All right, this room's done. Let's go. I'm just kidding. Uh, what do we want to do for like a headboard? What do we want to do for a headboard? Hmm. Uh, I've been kind of going with birch wood inside, so let's start there with a headboard. So we're going to go with like that and like that maybe. Let's try that and then I kind of like that. That's good. And then maybe we'll go and do that. That's good. Okay, um, let's see. Can we do some item frames? Item frame, an item frame, an item frame. We need a little item frame. Can we put, we can sneak item frames in here now. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. And then we'll, let's go ahead and do maybe this particular young lady is a bookworm. And she's got a nice book there. And maybe she's got another book over here. And then maybe there's a little bit of a flower pot for some decoration. And let's go with a contrasting color of flower. The corn flower. Ooh, I like that. I like that already. Don't you guys like that? I like that. I like that a lot. 
And then... I wish we could sneak something else in here. Yeah, we're gonna sneak in a button or two. Maybe this is like the alarm clock. <laughs> Let's try something slightly larger. There we go. <laughs> that was like, what on earth, man? <laughs> what happened there? That was strange. Oh yeah, didn't I do like a? Oh yeah, I, I did. Uh, let's see, what's it called? Um, coral. Yeah, we take the coral, and if we take this coral right here, we can actually place it on top of this, like that. And then you take one of these item frames, you stick it right there. And that looks pretty cool. You could put like a like a thing on top of it, but I just I just kind of like that actually. It looks really cool. It looks pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, now I wish... Oh, you know what? We can do it. Okay. Yep, we're gonna go. <laughs> you guys are like, is he gonna make one of those gosh darn stupid lights again? You know it. <laughs> you know it. Except I kind of need that end rod, though. <laughs> there we go. That is easier to just grab one from another place. There we go. That's pretty cool. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Like that. I'll have a symmetrical rim. There we are. Dude, that looks pretty cool. That looks great. Okay. Um, that's actually sort of perfect. I shouldn't be doing the bathroom yet, but I totally can. Like that. There's our shower. Just like that, right in the corner. There we go. There's a little shower. And then back here. <laughs> sorry, I just like randomly went in there to, to put the shower for whatever reason. Um, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in like a little desk. Yeah, I think I want it to be like that. There we go. Or you know what? If we just extend it like that, I think I like that better. Okay, cool. And then we're going to do uh, the button. And the pressure plate. The pressure plate. There we go. Like that. And our lovely painting. You guys know what I'm doing, right? You guys know what I'm doing? Of course you know what I'm doing. Hey! <laughs> the question is, do I know what I'm doing? That's that's a big question. The answer is probably not. Oops. See. Okay. Wrong paint. Really? How many times do I have to break that same thing before I learn my lesson? Why well, won't it give me the painting I want? I won't. I won't? Did I just say I won't? Dude. Wow. You know, people are watching and they're bored. There we go. Gosh, that took a long time. All right, let's do another flower pot over here. Let's do another little flower pot like this. And then we're going to do a little lamp. We're going to do an end rod that with, uh, you know what? Um, how about a pink carpet? Perfect. There we go. All right. I like this little room. This looks good. It just needs like one little shelf right there. That's nice. And then it would be cool if we had like a little chair with a, uh, oh, you know, we'll, we'll use, we'll use a sign, something a little bit smaller. There we go. There we go. It's a little cramped in here, but 
I mean, it's an apartment, right? There we go. Okay. Very nice. Very happy about that. Okay. In here, we're going to do, uh, let's just do like this. We'll do wood and then we'll do, um, a big mirror. Big mirror. There we go. Come on. Let's do the right mirror. Come on. There it is. And then like that. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh my gosh, what is up with the paintings today? There we go. All right. And then we'll go with like um We'll do like a sink like this, and then, man, that's kind of fun. That's sort of fun, actually. I kind of like that. Do we want to make a bigger sink? We totally could. The letter D! <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get a little trip wire hook. There we go. Put that right there. There we go. There's our sink. Kind of a lower sink this time, but still a sink. Okay. Now every person needs a, a, a flower pot to uh, rinse their teeth when they're done brushing their teeth. There we go. And then let's do like a button. Uh, let's do like this button, maybe like for some hand soap. Who just puts hand soap like that? That would be kind of dumb. Let's do an item frame. How about that? Item frame. And then what color would soap be? We could do like a, we could do like a color of concrete to get some soap. This kind of looks like soap. There we go. That's a bit of soap. And then maybe over here, uh, let's see. A hair dryer, a hair curling iron. That kind of resembles a curling iron maybe? Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> I think that's good. I really like that. Uh, let's see, let's get some, oops. Let's get a bit of carpet and see what we got. There we go, some pink carpet. Put that in there. We've got our little shower in the corner. That's like the derpiest, weirdest shower I've ever done. But it works as long as we can get a button in there. Let's grab this button right here. There we go. Okay, can't actually get into it, but it does kind of work. Okay, good. All right, good. We definitely would need, you know, if this was real, bathroom. It goes without saying that we would definitely need some, um, you know, uh, what are those things called again? Oh yeah. Curtains. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And then obviously in the bedroom here, but let's just pretend that there's curtains there. Let's just pretend because I could cover the whole wall with like, uh, um, what are those things called? Banners. But I don't think that's going to look right. Like if I go like this or something and say like, hey, there's curtains there. I mean, maybe that doesn't look that bad, huh? There we go. Like there's some curtains. The only trouble is from the outside, it's not going to look good. But that's like the idea. I guess we could try it. Kind of look like curtains and then like you pull them. Yeah. Could give that a go. All right, cool. I think this bedroom is done. All right, to save some time, what I did is I, f um, after I did this room, I did this room right here. So what we've got is a very similar headboard. And I realized that when I copy and paste, I can't do these um, item frames. So I kind of went lower on the item frames. Ooh, spooky noise. <laughs> uh, we've got a similar desk right here. And then I did a little bathroom here. This is supposed to be a shower. Um, I just kind of rented a room in here, so. Yeah, that's what we got. Anyway, um, let's see, can I put this on here right now? No, it's not gonna let me do that, is it? Nope, 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 oh well. Um, and then, uh, so the last room that we have to do 
is the master suite right here. So, yep, looking at this, looking at this very carefully, I think that we should probably put the bed here. And I'm thinking, should we go three wide? For a master bed, one, two, three. Yeah, why not? Why not? All right, so that means we need something. We need some, we need some, uh, let's do, let's do wool. I'm feeling some wool. I'm feeling some orange wool. Why, why orange? I don't know. One, two, three, like that. Nice large bed there. Okay, and then we're going to get out some white wool. White, white wool, white. <laughs> some white wool. Oops. I'm going to put some white wool. That's pretty good. And that's a big old bed. All right. Then what we're going to do is get some birch wood planks and slabs. Slabby, slabby, slab, slabs. There we go. Some birch wood planks. Here we go. Plank, 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 plank. And slab, 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 slab. Just like that, like that. That's pretty good. Okay. Then we're going to grab one of these guys and we're going to do a little lamp right here. And we're gonna do uh, some more orange car carpet, orange carpet, like that. That, my friends, is an orange lamp. Okay, uh, next what we're gonna do is get a flower pot. Are flower pots entities? I don't know. I don't know, because I can't copy and paste entities. And at this point, I'm kind of done <laughs> with this build, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and I kind of don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, but I'm just still giving you guys an idea of like how you might go about decorating a bedroom. Now, the reason I chose this wall is because I think that putting a bed against a window kind of looks weird from the outside. So this wall right here had no, um, had nothing on it. So that's kind of where the bed would go. I could also have done it this way, but I decided to go this way because that's the way I decided to go. Um, next, let's do one of these little thingies right here like that and then uh maybe another lamp yeah that's good there we go it's kind of like a um i don't know like a makeup area like i don't know like a something <laughs> uh what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing oh yeah signs i already have a sign there we go somebody give the man a sign there we are i think that's Nice and simple and neat and cool. And then I think painting, are paintings entities? I think they are. But we're gonna do a painting anyway. Gonna do a little painting right there. No, there. Yeah. That's the one I wanted. Is that where I wanna do it though? I kinda want it right there though. All right, fine. There we go. All right, we're gonna put the painting right here. Doot, 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 doot. Of course, it won't give me the one I want. There we go. So it's kind of like a little mirror and like a little bit of a, there we go. And let's see if we can grab this. Can we grab this flower? No. Um, let's see, let's go back to our flowers. What do we have available? I like these bluettes. They're fun. There we go, that's something simple. Something pretty simple. I could go ahead and put a bunch more stuff on there, but I'm not going to do that at this point because that's gonna be good to go. All right, then over here, we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a bit of a bathroom. So we're gonna use these things um, like this. Oh, and by the way, this reminds me that in these two bedrooms, I actually moved the door over by one block because I was coming in and I was like running into this, uh, the, this little chair. So I just moved it over one block this way and one block that way just to make it so it flowed a little bit better. Um, I didn't mention that earlier. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, back here, uh, let's do, we could do like a little closety sort of thing right here. Mm, how do we want to do that? Do we want to do shulker boxes? Shulker boxes are nice and clean. We could also do a bunch of these trappy doors like this all the way up and like that and do the same thing here. Da 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 like that. Trappy doors. Oh no. Close the trappy doors. There we go. Like that. And that could be like our 
deal. Um, you could also get te chests and put them in here if you wanted to use actual storage, but because I'm trying to go quickly, I'm just going to leave it like that. And that's going to be kind of like our a little bit of a, like a closet derpy little thing. Um, you could also like bring this around here and just make a make like a false one around this way. Looks kind of cool. You know, my buddy Waffle Stick made a point the other day. He said that there's not a lot of decoration options for walls in Minecraft, and I completely agree with him. I think I've mentioned this before, but they really need to do some more things besides just paintings and trapdoors. But that looks kind of cool, actually. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, they need to come up with something. I, I really wish that you could, like, paint blocks. Like, you could, like, dye, like, a, a side of a block. That'd be really cool, because then you could, like, you know, paint a room or do, like, uh, wallpaper. Or, like, maybe they should do, like, some wallpaper type things that were basically a map, but you just put the thing on the on the wall. Um, I suppose that we could make some wallpaper in our... Um, in our world somewhere here and use that map. I might go ahead and do that, but I don't know if I want to get that crazy with things. Anywho, um, back to what we were up to here. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab out some, um, some quartz. We're going to do some smooth quartz stairs. Because what I want to do is I want to make a bathtub. There we go. A lovely bathtub. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab out a end rod. We need a bit of an end rod. Here we go. There we go. There's our end rod. Paratow. There we go. And then we're going to grab out a couple of buttons. And there we go. End rods to me are kind of pretty useful. Like a lot of people, are, I think I got a comment the other day. I use too many end rods. But they are very good for modern building because they just have this look about them um and then right here like i'm thinking this is like a spigot because if you've ever seen like a very modern spigot where it's like coming out and then the water like falls out of the end um that's kind of what i'm going for there so if you are one of these people that said that hey hex it's enough with the end rods then uh well i'm not sorry because i like them so take that <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding uh you might have a point because i do use the end rods a lot but I think just in modern builds, they just work well. So I'm sticking with them. I'm sticking with the end rods. Okay, we need a painting. We need this painting again. Why do we need that painting? Because we need a good mirror. Maybe that's our mirror. Yeah, it's a married couple. They're fighting. That is the mirror. <laughs> married couples don't fight. What are you talking about, Hex? Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> Sometimes. Can you not do that? Oh, that sucks. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our tripwire hook. Tripwire hook. Sometimes I don't understand in Minecraft like why some things work and other things don't when it's like the same sort of deal. There we go, that's good. Okay, and then we're gonna go like this, like that, and then we're gonna get out our signs. So we already have our signs. There we go. Somebody give the man a sign. There we go. And then that's gonna be our sink. Beautiful tub sink and then um it might be nice to have a shower in here i guess uh a shower and a potty let's do that real quick i think the potty should go in the most obvious place looking out the window <laughs> you guys are like okay now he's lost it yeah this is kind of a weird bathroom because of all the windows and stuff and it's kind of a bit on the larger side oh, there we go there's our sort of modern toilet a uh, very standard hex toilet, but yeah, we're sticking with that too. All right, we're going to do a shelf up here, and then that's pretty good. Can we do a carpet on top of that end rod? Oop, not pink. I want orange or magenta, that, that was, I guess. No. Oh, yeah, we can. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Or maybe we can't. There we go. We'll just change the painting. Easy peasy. All right. That's good. Easy peasy. Easy peasy sneezy. All right. Another thing you could do is you could take some more end rods. Because they're like, I love with the end rods. And then that could be our shower curtain. 
And then we're going to go with like a, oh, what do we call it? 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 What is that thing? Oh, it's a banner. That's right. I'm going to go with a banner like this. Can we stick banners on top of end rods? I should know this. I'm a builder in Minecraft. No, you can't. But how come you can put that on the top, but you can't put the banner on top of the dead? You guys know what I'm saying? Minecraft, I swear. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do some curtains in here like we did in the other one. There we go. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Do we want to do like a, a dedicated shower? Mm, like we have the room to do it. But I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no. I think that this bathroom is complete enough. Complete enough. I think if I wasn't kind of pressed for time, I would most likely uh, do a little bit more decorating in here. But for now, I think this is going to be good. You know what we could do, though, is we could get like a composter and some leaves and do this sort of thing. So we're going to get a composter and some leaves. Here we go. Like that. We're just going to go in the corner here. And like that. There we go. That's kind of fun, just to kind of add a little bit of a, an element of, um, what do you want to call that? I don't know. Stuff. <laughs> We're going to call it an element of stuff. Good job, Hex. Way to talk. Excellent job. Okay. Um, then we're going to go right there with another little lamp. I like that. That's good enough. Okay. Most excellent. Most excellent fellows. And let's do a little carpet right here. Just to get a little bit of extra stuff. And then we're going to do another one of these composters. With the leaves. Like that. And then i got to do something about the ceiling. It's kind of wacko. This ceiling is wacko. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Trapdoors. There's some. I just wanted to put some trapdoors on this bed. It just looks a little too, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. This didn't quite have enough. Oh, I know what's missing. Uh, carpet. We need some pillows. You can't sleep on a bed without a pillow. <laughs> Gotta have a pillow. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's better. All right, how am I feeling about this? How am I feeling? Can we, can we be done with this already? There we go. We'll just do one end rod for some light right there. And I think I think that's good. I think that's good. All right, this uh, hallway is a little on the bland side, but we could do like a couple of paintings or we could do just like some signs on the wall like that. And maybe some over here. Like these are like, um, I don't know. I don't know what they are. There we go. And then we're just going to do and get our end rods like centered here and do like every other one. There we go. That's better. Okay. And then perhaps, perhaps, perhaps in this area, we're going to do like this. And then where did my leaves go? Where'd my leaves go? You guys, where'd they go? There we go. I'm going to do that right there. And then we will do one right here as well. Kind of complete the set there we are. all right and then we need a light like right right in here somewhere or maybe we don't i don't know who cares yeah i like these signs on the wall for some reason kind of like them kind of add a little bit of detail who knows what they are <laughs> maybe they're pictures without pictures in them i don't know not entirely sure. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty happy about this thing. Very, very happy. It's a nice little interior. Let's see what it looks like from the exterior, and then we will attempt the copy and paste. Okay, from the exterior. Yep. I think I like it. I like it quite a bit. I like it very much. I don't know how these pink banners got on the glass. That's not exactly what I meant to do. But I guess it works. 
It kind of doesn't work, does it? I'm going to take those off before I copy and paste. But I'm very happy with it. Very happy with it. I like the orange on the inside. I think that it works really well with the white concrete and the gray concrete. I think that looks really actually quite nice. So, yeah. All right, all we got to do is the copy and paste. And hopefully, hopefully it'll go okay. Okay, the copy and paste went great. There was just a couple of little hiccups, like the door right there. Like you can see, like we've got half doors. Um, for some reason, when I paste it in, it does half doors, and I don't really know why. Um, but that's not really that big a deal. What I was most concerned about was just having it be filled up so that we can see the skyscraper filled up with apartments. Now, if you don't have Bling Edit or uh, some other way to copy and paste the contents, then you're going to have to decorate each floor by yourself. So good luck with that. <laughs> My recommendation to you is to do it in like two or three stages. So like I would do like all of the kitchen, like main sections and the couches like that. So like you would do like all that gray wool and all this uh, iron blocks and maybe the beehives and maybe the orange wool and just do that in each section. Um, and then come back in later and put in like the fine details, like the end rods and the, um, well, maybe you might want to do the end rods first if you're in survival because of uh, mob spawning issues. Anyway, um, then go back through and do some of the finer details like the little shelves and the flower pots and stuff. Um, that's typically how I've done it in the past when I've done larger builds and decorating the entire thing. And it tends to go faster than if you do each individual cell completely by itself. But if you do uh, the things in, in batches based on what you can fit in your inventory. Anyway, that being said, this video is done and so is this skyscraper and I'm incredibly, incredibly happy with it. I think it turned out really well and your guys' support and um, feedback and comments and stuff have been quite positive on this and I really appreciate all that. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're all done. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this little skyscraper. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff every now and then I have to mention that. But more importantly, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful, fantastic day. I hope the sun is shining and the clouds are floating past wherever you are. And God bless.